Today, a lot of people will certainly never forget. This was uh, in January when tornadoes left a path of destruction through several counties just south of Metro Atlanta. Well, it's been a long road to recovery for many of those families out mm -hmm. there. Our Don Shipman met a woman who's lucky to be alive after her home was destroyed. There's some good news, right, Don, this morning about her journey? Oh, yeah. So there's been a lot of ups and downs for 70-year-old Joanne Mathis. I met her the day after one of those tornadoes destroyed her home along Cherokee Drive here in Butts County. This right here is really all that was left of her home. But wow. now I want you to take a look because she finally has a place to call home. Mathis's daughter Tanya tells me that her mother plans to officially move in this week. There were a lot of hurdles, though. The cleanup in Jackson was extensive. The cost to rebuild nearly broke the bank. And making matters worse, Butts County had to grant approval for her new mobile home because zoning no longer allowed for new single-wide models. But Ms. Mathis was determined to return to her home of 55 years. It's been grandkids here, swimming parties. It's just been a lot of memories. My dad has been passed away 10 years now, and yet there's a lot of memories with him. She says she's ready to make new memories, but of course, luckily, she still has photos and stuff like that. Yeah, she was able to salvage a lot of her photo albums. This right here is a look inside, new furniture and all. And her daughter tells me that she is grateful to those in the community who stepped up to help out with donations or simply by helping to haul away all of the debris. I can only imagine she cannot wait to move in because when you've been out for so long, you just yes. want to get back home. Don, thanks for that. Thank you, Don.